Human rights reporting often relies on very simple messages. Simple messages are effective, they mobilize, they draw support, they acquire funding, and they get traction. And for that, simple messages need to be congratulated. On the other hand, simple messages often distort. And the public may be surprised to actually know the following. The majority of child soldiers are not young children, they are adolescents generally between the ages of 15 and 17. The majority of child soldiers worldwide are not forcibly abducted, conscripted, or kidnapped into service. About two-thirds of all child soldiers worldwide volunteer. They become enlisted. Volunteerism can mean a lot of different things. It can mean coming forward and signing up because your family told you to do so and your community pressured you to do so so as to defend your community against hostile forces. But it can also mean young people signing up to fight, to topple a dictatorship. Many young people signed up and joined rebel forces in Libya, for example, in the internal armed conflict that ousted Muammar Gaddafi. It can mean young people signing up to join political movements because they want to achieve a certain political goal. And this is the case in a broad variety of jurisdictions, including places on the North American continent, such as El Salvador. Forty percent of child soldiers worldwide are girls. The typical imagery of the child soldier, focusing on the very young child holding a weapon, or the crazed demon bandit child killing with alacrity, uh, assumes all child soldiers are boys. Nearly half of child soldiers worldwide are girl soldiers. Child soldiering is not a problem exclusive to Africa. The largest number of child soldiers worldwide today are found in Myanmar, a country also known as Burma, and are not in rebel forces but are actually in state armed forces. Child soldiers are found on every continent and wherever conflict erupts, inevitably, young people become ensnared in it. Most child soldiers exit conflict or leave conflict not because they're rescued by international humanitarians. Most child soldiers leave because they escape or they abandon the group for which they had fought. When we view all child soldiers as one generic whole, indistinguishable, interchangeable, dehumanized, and uniform, we lose sight of their great individual differences, and recognizing those individual differences is absolutely necessary after conflict to successfully reintegrate former child soldiers.